Don't ever limit your thinking around how valuable your equipment can be to you. Not only does it serve the main purpose that you're carrying it for, in this case, twine for tying, lashing, and binding things together, but this is also a great measuring device. I'm gonna take a second piece of rope here because you're gonna be able to see it better on camera and show you just a couple techniques that you can use rope for in order to help it measure things around camp. When we look at this sled and we're gonna drill holes on all sides, we may want these to be very even because it's going to help better with lashing items down inside. So what you can do is you can go ahead and first of all, use a piece of rope, measure in from the end, mark it, and then come to the other side and measure in from the end, and you're gonna get more precise measurements. If we need to find the center point ever on anything, all that we need to do is yet again, take our rope, go from one edge to the other edge, fold that piece of rope in half, and then reset it on an edge, and we have a good center point. You could do this, of course, if you have a longer piece and need to find three or four sections throughout that, just divide your rope up by that. It works really well. Another thing you can do as to use cordage as a measuring device is if you're around camp, I build a lot of camp furniture, I might bring back, let's say, one sapling or one stick for a leg on a table or a saw buck, something like that. And once I realize it's the right length, I don't wanna to have to carry really big pieces back into camp. So something that you can do is pick a desired length of wood that you're going to need, take a piece of rope or twine, measure to that length, and then at the end, simply just place an overhand knot into that just like this, tighten it down, and then you can carry just a piece of rope out into the field and very easily cut three or four or five or six more legs if that's what you need for the project. That way you're not hauling larger lumber back and you're doing the work out in the field. It's gonna save you time and energy when doing these projects. So just always keep in mind that stuff is not always what you think it is. Twine, great for binding lashing, but it's also a great measuring device. This was Dan Wolwak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, check us out over at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until the next video, stay in the woods, guys.